Sadiq Khan finally responds after huge criticism over London's surging street violence. This obviously refers to the amount of stabbings that we've had this year. 48 and rising, ladies and gentlemen. And not a word from our London Mayor for two, three, four days. Two, three, four days? Try the beginning of the year, okay? We've got incredible clips coming up from Nick Ferrari. We've got clips coming up from everybody. London Mayor Sadiq Khan has finally responded after facing a huge amount of criticism. And rightly so. This man blames public services and funding when he is the man in control of the funding for London's Met Police. So let's go ahead and roll our pathetic Mayor of London. Where have you been for the last few days? Well, I've been around, uh, working closely with the Met Police Service, working closely with the Deputy Mayor. You know there's been uh, criticism that you haven't been visible. Well, look, I'm here today talking to the media. I've, I use a number of outlets to communicate with uh, Londoners, uh, social media, uh, newspapers, uh, sometimes ITV London News as well. Has London become lawless? No. Uh, I'm 50 raising, people dead? I'm raising my family here. Uh, there's nowhere else I've raised my uh, family. We're, we, are, we are a relatively safe city, but of course, I understand the concerns people have when there's deaths that are necessarily caused by knives and by David Lammy guns. says the police have lost control in Tottenham. Well, I mean, do you accept that? No, I don't accept that the police have lost control. What I do accept is there are less visible police, and that's a direct consequence of uh, police cuts. What I do accept... How are you going to go on blaming government cuts? Well, you just put to me what David Lammy said, I'm trying to respond to that point, which is the lack of police presence. There are few police officers the public can see because there are few police officers. He says, I bring my family up here. He doesn't live in the crime-ridden ghettos. He'll have police protection. He is more concerned about social media and what is being said about him and his quote brothers than protecting the youngsters in London. Forget bullets and knives. Name calling an image is more important. He blames everyone else rather than take responsibility. This dangerous little snake needs to go, ladies and gentlemen. And I couldn't agree with that post any more if I tried, okay? He needs to be removed. And we have a petition in this article right now on change.org to raise awareness on getting this man out of office as fast as possible. We Let's just go ahead and roll this other clip from Nick Ferrari over at LBC. And how much more has to happen before the Prime Minister, who I won't say literally has blood on her hands, but has questions to answer over her disastrous policy of reining back stop and search when she was Home Secretary, before she acts and, hello, has anybody seen the Mayor? We're on Mayor Watch, day two. 48 people dead now, Mr Mayor, and still nothing. What, are you looking into an inquiry for helping transgender members of staff at City Hall or something like that? Perhaps another body shaming initiative, taking adverts down from the London Tube? What about getting something done? We've cut our border force. Um, the National Crime Agency is absolutely the lead agency in this regard. It itself reports an increase in this activity. But what I'm saying is we aren't debating this in Parliament. I raised it... Or indeed in I the raised City of London, we haven't ago. heard anything from the Mayor of London. Where is he? Well, look, I've had four deaths. I have not had a phone call from the Home Secretary. I have not had a phone call from the Mayor. Or what I you haven't had a phone call from the Mayor? No, You're a Labour no, MP. No one's come to visit my constituency. Um, this is happening across London at large. Um, I, I'm, I, frankly, I'm sick of the political football. What I want is a political consensus. The City of Glasgow had a problem ten years ago. It was the murder capital of this country. Last year, not one death as a result of a stabbing because there was a political consensus between the Labour Party and the SNP and the Scotland example. They have a public health strategy, all agencies coming together, all resources, and the community itself was sick of it. So people are stepping up to act. So it can be done. There's a petition trending on change.org and we will have the link in the description box below this video. Go over there, sign it, and then share it with your friends and your family. He is an infiltrator. You know, you, you want to know what Sadiq Khan is? Watch this next two-minute video. They're intentionally leaving the borders open in Europe, bringing in mass refugees. Among them are going to be jihadists who are setting up a, a future Tet offensive, Tet-style offensive in Europe. And the same thing's being done to this country. On her way to work one morning, down the path along the lake, a tender-hearted woman saw a poor, half-frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Oh well, she cried, I'll take you in. 
and I'll take care of you. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Side the vicious snake. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Take me in, for heaven's sake. Take me in, O oh tender woman. Beside the vicious snake. Now she clutched him to her bosom. You're so beautiful, she cried. But if I hadn't brought you in, by now you might have died. She stroked his pretty skin, and then she kissed and held him tight. But instead of saying thank you, that snake gave her a vicious bite. I saved you, cried the woman, and you bit me, heavens why. You know your bite is poisonous, and now I'm going to die. Oh, shut up, silly woman, said the reptile with a grin. You knew damn well I was a snake before you took me in. If you like what we're doing here at TNTV News, please head on over to the description box below this video, where you'll find a link to our eBay page.